I don't know why I do that. I always keep the tags on stuff. I love the sleeves and it buttons underneath and it's from Forever 21. And it was actually on sale for like, I don't know. Hey Cake Nieces, it's Marisha. I'm so excited because I am doing a dual video. I'm releasing two videos at the same time because you can't have one without the other. I am going to be making my strawberry crunch cupcakes and eventually I am gonna make a strawberry crunch cake. Don't call it redundant when you see it come out. When something is that good, you can't just stop at the cupcakes. No, I'll probably mess around doing milkshake. In this video, I'm actually going to show you guys how to make the strawberry crunch toppings because I feel like that alone deserves its own video. And then when I do the strawberry crunch cake, I'm going to send you guys back to this video because I went through a few things. You know what I mean? I, I, I took a few twists and turns and I didn't know which direction I was going to go when I was looking around for GPS, but I had no signal. But I had my inner navigation. And that's what led me to the winning circle. And that's where I am right now. Thank you. Yes, I made it. I'm here. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And then press on the notification button. <coughs> Once we do that, then we can get started. Let's go. Okay you guys, so I'm going to start off with the white part of the crumble. For this, I'm going to use a half stick of butter, about one quarter cups of flour. Then I'm going to add my vanilla pudding and this is going to create that delicious vanilla flavored crumble. Now this is going to be cold butter, it's very similar to when you make a crust. I'm actually going to use my butter cutter, I can't remember what this is actually called. So I'm going to call it a butter cutter. You can use a fork also. I'm going to cut all of the flour and butter into one another to create these large crumbs. And this is really how you would make any type of streusel, even a dough. For now, we can set that aside on a parchment lined sheet tray. You guys have no idea how long I've been wanting to make these strawberry crunch cakes. People have been asking me for them for years, but I felt like I didn't know where to start the tackleage. And now I've tackled it. I've completed my mission. Slay. You know, and, and that's all the, that's all it was, really. Now we're gonna make our strawberry crumble exactly the same situation, just with strawberry jello instead of pudding. So same exact measurements, a half stick of butter, my flour, and then my jello. And I'm going to cut this just like I did with the previous bowl until all of the powder is completely integrated in with the butter. I thought that I would show you guys this in real time. Oh, I didn't because I actually skipped ahead. Well, it was almost real time. The point is, is that it didn't take too long for me to get to this process, only a couple of minutes. So once I have that done, I'm going to put this on the sheet tray right beside my vanilla crumble. And it's a little bit stickier as you can imagine. It's a different consistency than the Putting one of course. This is going to bake in a 350 degree oven for about six minutes and when it comes out this is what it looks like. Totally different worlds as you can see. But don't fret we're gonna work this thing out. I was definitely a little bit nervous when that strawberry side came out of the oven. It turned into like a taffy. 
It was actually quite delicious. It almost reminded me of a fruit roll up. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I slept on it and everything. So I'm going to let it harden overnight. And then once I put that in the food processor, it all made sense and it all came together. I almost expected for it to ball up like an actual sticky candy would, but it did exactly what I needed it to do and it broke down into little strawberry crumbles. It broke apart into these perfect little candy pieces just like the strawberry crunch popsicle little taffy bits oh my goodness it made all the difference Now we can do the same for the vanilla crumble. While they are already like crumbles, we want that to be a little bit finer so that the majority of the crumbs are about the same size and you can easily sprinkle or even dip your cupcakes into the mixture. My streusel wasn't very sweet. It was definitely missing a flavor. I bought this whole pack of Oreos that I was going to use initially, but then decided to do a homemade crumble, but then I'm like, I still have these Oreos. Now just like I did with my streusel, I'm going to add my Oreos to the food processor, only pressing down a couple of times. I definitely don't wanna make it into a fine crumb. I'm going to combine all three, and that's what makes the most amazing strawberry crumble ever. Not just the Oreos and not just the streusel, but the combination of all three. As long as you just want to dip your face in it, this is giving me slight cereal vibes. I kind of want to add a little bit of milk to it and just take that spoon and go to town like a breakfast town. And that is it, you guys. That is how we're going to make the strawberry crumble. So now you have to check the next video to see how I made the cupcakes. Couture and a strawberry crumble. Bye, guys. This may be the best crumble on YouTube. You not only have that semi-homemade strawberry crumble, you've got that semi-homemade vanilla pudding crumble and the Oreo crumble. You got three different things going on and then you're combining them and then you're consuming. It's like amazing. It's almost quite spiritual if you will. I was able to decorate 14 cupcakes and I was able to have lots left over for my cake that I'm going to be doing. I put that leftover crumble in a Ziploc bag and I'm just storing it in the cabinet. I'm going to pick a cake niece to comment because y'all have been slaying my comment section. This looks like a cake niece to comment on my Sophia the First video. Anthony Baking writes, You inspire me to open my own baking business. That opens tomorrow. Thank you for being such an inspiration. Anthony, are you serious? Did I really inspire you to open up your own thing? Anthony? <laughs> Congratulations. That's so wonderful, Anthony. I'm so happy for you. And I feel blessed to have been able to inspire you in any type of way. That takes me out you know i'm just like on here and being me and goofy and stuff and i just bake along the way and then y'all get inspired and i'm like what are you doing <laughs> you know i want everybody to congratulate anthony and all of you who have started your own business whatever it is congratulations thank you so much for commenting anthony you don't know how much you I'm so serious, you guys. If you would like to be featured in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below and you have to be subscribed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, cake and cake -nistos.